All right, so if your 362 is equipped with the overload switch, which is normally located on the top, and you need to replace it, make sure that you're using a 22 amp overload, and the power side is the load side going to the switch. That's where the little short jumper is going to be attached. The line side is the power coming from the outlet. So from the, the cord, the power cord should be going into here, okay? So to replace it, you would basically unscrew the cap. So this would cap would be on here. The cap and boot unscrews. So you would unscrew it. Remove the overload. And to replace it, just the other way. Just make sure you have the jumper in the correct location, which is the line side or the load side. Put this back together. All right, so that's the overload. Next thing is the switch. The switch actually comes in three pieces when you get it in the mail. You'll have the switch itself, the locking device, and you'll have a cap that goes over this, this cover. So make sure you place the cover over the square or rectangular hole. This cover is used for other purposes as well. That's normally the laser connection for the 244. Since we don't use it for the 362, we put a cap cover on it. The locking device, make sure it's inserted so that that tongue is flush, okay? If you put it in backwards, it won't work. You see what I'm saying? That's backwards. So make sure that you slide it in so you have a perfect rectangle for the switch to slide into. Now the switch. The 362 switch has six connectors, normally closed up top. These are normally opened in the middle. To place it in, slide the top or make sure that you slide the top in first and then drop the bottom, okay? So it'll snap in. So there you go, it snapped all the way in. And again, this is the load side and that would go on the bottom of the switch, okay? So that's your switch, your cover and the overload replacement.